Hi, my name is Jen and I'm the face behind Maverick's Donut Company. My husband and I created the company about three years ago and we are the founders of one of Ottawa's favorite donut shops. behind Mavericks or how we came to be as a company is that maybe roughly three years ago my husband and I were in Florida with her family on vacation and I was expecting our third child and we saw this amazing donut shop that made fresh cake donuts daily the way that we do now and we really got inspired by that and and realized that there was no real authentic cake donut shop in Ottawa um, so we saw uh, an opportunity and we kind of jumped on it and we went with Mavericks because um, had we had a son as our third child, we would have named him Mavericks, but it turned out we had a daughter and so we kept that name and went with it for our company's name. So we came up with Mavericks Donut Company. So when we started the company roughly three years ago, um, we were offering at that time both yeast donuts and cake donuts. And the reason that we transitioned from yeast donuts to strictly doing cake donuts is that we had a really high demand that we were trying to keep up with. And with the yeast donut, there's a proofing process and then you fry it and it's just, it's more labor intensive and it takes more time to make. So in order to be able to keep up with the city's demand, we decided to transition solely to a cake donut. And this way it allows us to have a full display throughout the day. Um, and keep offering delicious flavors from morning to the evening. So speaking of flavors, we offer various type of cake donuts. So we have our classic donuts, which are the classic flavors that everybody loves. We have our signature donuts, which are more edgy toppings and different flavors that way. Uh, then we have a vegan line. We have our fritters, which come in both apple and blueberry. And then of course, we also have our mini maps, which are the mini donuts, kind of fit in the palm of your hand. Um, and our most popular flavors by far would be the lemon ricotta, which is a huge fan favorite, followed closely by our fritters. Both our apple and blueberry are quite popular. And our vegan line is, of course, very popular amongst the vegans for very obvious reasons. So a part of the Mavericks brand is very much supporting local. So we are huge believers in the Canadian economy and keeping it thriving. So for example, our boxes and our coffee sleeves, which are coming soon, um, are made and sourced in Canada, specifically Toronto. Um, and we do try to do stuff just like this, where we work with other local creators and influencers and um, business people, just to try to keep Ottawa on the map and give everybody a chance to thrive and make it in this rather small market. So we have three locations across the city at the moment. We have one in the Byward Market, which is where we are right now. We have one on Bank Street located at 1500 in the Blue Heron Mall, same mall as the Pelican Fishery and the Farm Boy. Um, we also have a location in Westboro at 307A Richmond Road and we are really excited to announce that we are going to be opening a fourth location in Stittsville, my apologies, on Stittsville, Maine um, and we are hoping to do that in the coming months or month but we're not exactly sure on the timeline which is why we cannot give an exact date but speaking of Stittsville, we are going to be introducing a coffee program um, using Morning Owl Coffee, which is also a locally made roasted coffee in Ottawa. And uh, we look forward to launching that there. And we are hopeful that within the next few months, we'll be able to expand that coffee line throughout all of our other locations. So definitely stay tuned for that. And speaking of expanding, um, in the next few years, we are looking to hopefully be able to open up a few more franchises throughout the city. So all you EastEnders and you know the people who are currently aching for donuts but can't get to us, um, we really are hoping to be able to expand, whether through franchises or shops of our own, but that is in the short-term plan. And for long-term plan, I guess you could say that we're hoping to kind of make it bigger and expand throughout Canada. Um, and then we'll see where that takes us. When the pandemic hit five months ago, we were very worried as to what the future of our company was going to look like, but we are extremely thankful and blessed that the city of Ottawa has really come out and shown support for us and other small local companies, which we think is amazing. And so we're just very grateful to still be here and we hope to be able to continue to serve delicious donuts to the city for many years to come. All right, so that's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in and we hope to see you very soon at one of our various locations across the city. Bye. Thank you.